the store to get something for dinner and I need to walk my dog and answer some emails. Okay, so I have to go to the store, walk my dog, answer some emails. Go to the store, walk my dog, answer some emails. Okay, got it. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. I was just using self-talk to help me remember what I need to do today. <laughs> self-talk is what we're learning about today, and it's when you talk to yourself to help you focus or learn something. Okay, now we're going to play a game. This is called the self-talk game. You are going to repeat what I say to yourself to help you remember a list. So here's our list. Pen, paintbrush, pencil, crayon. Now repeat that to yourself in a whisper. Pen, paintbrush, pencil, crayon. Pen, paintbrush, pencil, crayon. Pen, paintbrush, pencil, crayon. See if you can try it on your own. Good, pen, pencil, paintbrush, crayon, excellent. You were able to remember that list because you whispered it to yourself. You repeated it to yourself. And that, my friends, is called self-talk. Self-talk helps us to remember things and to think about what we're trying to remember. So I have a story for you about Tiana, and she is going to use some self-talk also. Here is a picture of Tiana. Tiana is the girl sitting with the green-blue shirt on. Tiana is trying to focus on her science project, but there are a lot of distractions and noises going on around her. Look at the picture and notice what things might be distracting Tiana. It looks like there are people talking and moving and chatting in the background. Those are distractions. I wonder if Tiana feels frustrated by all the distractions. Now remember that game we just played where I had you whisper to yourself to help you remember and focus on a list? That was called self-talk. Tiana needs to use self-talk to help herself stay focused on her science project and to ignore the distractions around her. What could Tiana say to herself in her self-talk to help her stay focused? Maybe she could say to herself, stay focused. Maybe she could repeat the directions to herself. Gather the red string, gather the red string, she could say to herself. Maybe she could say to herself, ignore the noise, ignore the noise. There are lots of things Tiana could say to herself to help her stay focused and ignore distractions. When you use self-talk, it's really up to you what you want to tell yourself. But whatever you tell yourself, make sure it's something positive that will help you get your job done. Let's talk through another example of a time you might need to use self-talk to ignore distractions. Let's imagine you are in your class meeting and you can see everyone in your class on the computer in your Google Meet. There is somebody in your Google Meet acting kind of silly. Maybe they're trying to get people to laugh. You can use self-talk here and tell yourself, I can ignore that person being silly so that you can focus on the person who's talking and teaching. All right, come on, listen now. Be respectful. Yeah, yeah. Be skillful. Yeah, yeah. Be a learner. Be a learner. Yeah, yeah. 
You come to school to learn Where there's lots of things to see and do So make the most of it The power is inside of you Focus attention Listen with your ears, eyes and brain Use your self-talk Be assertive and you will gain The lesson is starting up Your eyes and ears are focused in When someone starts to talk Show your respect by listening Focus attention Listen with your ears, eyes and brain Use your self-talk Be assertive and you will gain Be respectful Yeah, yeah Be skillful Yeah, yeah Be a learner Yeah, 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 yeah Be respectful Be skillful Be a learner You got it. Keep saying, stay on task. Ignore distractions, that's the key. And when you need some help, be sure to ask assertively. Focus attention. Listen with your ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self talk. Be assertive, and you will gain. Be respectful. Yeah. 